Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salam rasulillah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma alimna ma yanfa'na. Wa anfa'na bima lam tana wa zidna ilman. Welcome to another episode. Real problems, real solutions. The brothers ask, how can you increase your libido, your strength and intimacy? And we've talked about testosterone and increasing testosterone is very important. We talked about being active, doing manly things, and it is very, very important. Uh, an active man will always have stronger energy and stamina to be able to be intimate. But today, I want to talk to you about something that is so important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, and I'm going to link it to the male and female psychology, inshallah, and how they react to, to uh, visual cues and visual stimuli. And how the human being gets conditioned, and that actually affects the strength of the stimuli. You have to understand, the more you're exposed to a stimuli, the lesser the response can become. If you're, you're basically conditioned, okay? you get what's called acclimatized or custom customized to the to the stimuli so for example you have a certain amount of certain food that you, first time you taste it, like wow it's so good and then the more you eat it you keep eating it eating it your taste buds get used to it it's not the the way it was the first time right it's just not the way it is but if you abstain from that food or if you not always about that type of food every time you taste it it's gonna taste good so it's not like everything all the time right so let's understand that within intimacy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells it in Surah Nur, chapter Nur, the light, verse 30. قُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ Say to the believers, يَغُدُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُ فُرُوجَهُمْ Let them lower their gaze and protect their chastity. And the next verse, 30, uh, 31, وَقُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنَاتِ The same thing, let tell the believing women. So yes, even women, they do look at men. And men are mentioned first, because it is more common with them. Even the order of ayat, the mufassirin, they look at it and they give importance to it. The word usage, word order in, within an ayah, different ayat and which one comes first. For example, when it talks about uh, the, the, the sarika, or sarika or stealing, all these are important. So men do check out women more than women check out men, but women also do it. That's why Allah specifically singled out men and then women right after with the same thing. Lower your gaze, protect your chastity. But how can this lowering the gaze, gaze protect the chastity? And actually here, it's, it's Allah SWT says, uh, uh, And they protect their furuj is actually the private parts. If you think about it, subhanAllah, of course it means chastity. But lowering the gaze can be a protection for your furuj so that it can work properly. So it can be in the natural way, in the natural sense, in the fitra way. One of the greatest problems with issues of intimacy today and the psychological impact of overstimulation, hypersexualized society, everywhere you turn, you see something to do with sex. Men are exposed to women. Everywhere, you drive on the street, billboards, this, that, pictures, you go to the mall, the mannequins, everything is somehow appealing, sexualized. And you have to understand, behind marketing, there are psychologists. You have to understand that. Behind, they're huge, it's a huge industry. And people get paid a lot of money to do this, all right? And they study human Psychology, how the humans react. How do you target females? And what would be appealing to them? And how do you target men? And what would be appealing to them? So there's a lot. And also women. A lot of, you know, good-looking guys, this, that, models. It's, it's basically pushed on both of us. But I would say men are targeted more. So when you overstimulate it like that, basically the response of the stimulus is going to be lower now. Right? I.e., when you go to have intimacy with your wife and you've been exposed to all these so-called, and a lot of it's fake, sorry, you know, like genetically or, uh, you know, modified and engineered women, 
then when you go to your wife, mashallah, who's natural, fitra, you will feel like, eh, you know, so performance issues on both sides. Man cannot perform maybe, woman cannot climax, and issues happen. So we're overstimulated. And that's why lowering the gaze can definitely increase the libido and the power, the sexual desire and strength. Because again, you're not looking, not always. Everything you see is you see, your brain is affected. You have to understand your brain is one of the most important components of your sexual reproductive system. What? Yes. Okay, it starts in the mind, right? The desire, the thoughts, the eyes. And that's what the Prophet said, that the eyes are the avenue to the heart, to the, you know, to the person's soul. So when you always go on, you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing, you're seeing. The women see men, good-looking men, this, that. They're going, pictures, movies, media, TikTok, Instagram. Men, the same thing. And then they go to their just natural person next to them, their spouse the stimuli is not going to be as powerful. So the desire even, people avoid intimacy because they don't have desire for each other anymore, but they have desire to check things out. And by the way, a lot of these people that are, you know, have millions of followers and they're very popular on social media, actors, and this, these are exceptions. Not everyone looks like that. They're an exception, right? Now, I'm not saying they shouldn't look good and shouldn't take care of yourself, but they are exceptions. So <clears throat> not, not also to to mention that your, your brain reacts differently to a 2D mechanism, a 2D device, as opposed to a person who is 3D. There's so many studies that show that how the brain reacts, specifically when it comes to sex, for example, watching porn, which is 2D, on a screen, and how people get conditioned and how it affects their libido, their strength, and their desire for their spouse, or the lack of it, and how you react to a, just a normal human being, 3D. The brain reacts differently. So when you've been conditioning and you know, just really, really overstimulating your brain, your heart, your mind, your system with that, and what you see images only, because it's not real intimacy, then when you get to real intimacy, then you don't really have the desire sometimes or the ability to please the other person or to even just be interested in it. So. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, This is more pure to them. Okay? Allah is indeed no knowledgeable or He knows what they do or what they you know, achieve. So may Allah subhanahu wa help us to understand and help us to lower our gaze more because it will increase your libido. That type of abstinence, I'm talking about abstinence just from seeing from being exposed to these things will increase your desire for your wife, your strength, right? Remember the first time, if you've ever, some of the porn addicts know this very well, when, you know, first time they see just normal thing, they get so stimulated, then they want to see more, more. Why? Because the first stimuli doesn't do it anymore. It's the same kind of thing. You've been always exposed, seeing, seeing this one, that one, that one. Then when you get to your wife, who might be very beautiful, subhanAllah, natural, you're not going to be able to react properly. And same for the women towards their men. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us to understand. Inshallah, barakallahu feekum. If you benefit from these videos, please check out the description and click the links, become a patron to sponsor one of these videos or more to educate the ummah based on the Quran, Sunnah, positive Islamic psychology. This is your brother, Gabriel Romani. Send me questions, write in the comments, uh, contact me, and we can do, I can address more issues, real problems with real solutions. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.